Hello guys, welcome. Today we are going to discuss a problem in code for SD2, Juhu and sequences. So let's move on to the question. Juhu has invented a kind of sequences. They meet the following property. F1 is equals to x, F2 is equals to y, and for all i where i greater than or equals to 2, Fi is equals to Fi minus 1 plus Fi plus 1. So they will give us the values of x and y, which are f1 and f2. We have to calculate fn modulo 10 power 9 plus 7. So the input consists of x and y, and the next line consists an integer n, for which we have to calculate f of n. So let's see the test cases. So first they have given x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3. And n is equal to 3. We have to calculate f of n which is f of 3. So they have given the equation f of i is equal to f of i minus 1 plus f of i plus 1. So for i is equal to 2. Now f of 2 is equal to f of 1 plus f of 3. So f of 2 means y. So 3 is equal to f of 1 means f of 1 means x which is 2 plus f of 3. So f of 3 is equal to 1. They have asked us to print f of n modulo 10 power 9 plus 7. So 1 modulo 10 power 9 plus 7 which gives the output as 1. So let's check the next test case. They have given x is equal to 0 and y is equal to minus 1 and n is equal to 2 which means f of 2 which is y that is equal to minus 1. So we have to calculate minus 1 mod 10 power 9 plus 7. 10 power 9 plus 7. So normally if we calculate this it will give the output as minus 1. But when we do a modular operation, the output should be in between 0 and that number. So we have to make some modifications. This one, for this the output will be 10 power 9 plus 6. So we will see how this came. Now we will calculate a mod n, which is correct for all negative numbers. So we can write this as a mod m whole mod m. So let us take a is equal to 4 and m is equal to 2. So if we want to calculate a mod m which is 4 mod 2 it gives us 0. Also if we calculate a mod m whole mod m means 0 mod 2 which is also 0. So we can write this as like this. And now let us add this expression with 0. So we can write 0 as m mod m because m completely divides the m. So we can also write like this. Now let's combine this a mod m plus m whole mod m. So we can write this a mod m equation as a mod m plus m whole mod m. Now let's see for minus 1 mod 10 power 9 plus 7. So now it will happen like this. Minus 1 mod I will consider m is equal to 10 power 9 plus 7. So it will be easy for writing for you. Mod m plus m whole mod m. So minus 1 mod 10 power 9 plus 7. It gives minus 1 plus what is the value of n? m 10 power 9 plus 7 whole mod m. Now 10 power 9 plus 7 minus 1. Use n power 9 
plus 6 whole mod 10 power 9 plus 7. So, which gives the output as 10 power 9 plus 6. So, this will be the output of second test case. 10 power 9 plus 6. So, let's think for the logic. So, if we done the brute force approach, like uh, maintaining an array up to 10 power 9, 2 into 10 power 9, and if we do like that, it will lead to TLE. So, we have to think for a log logic which optimizes the solution. So, now let us calculate here f of 1 means x and f of 2 means y. Now, let us calculate f of 3. f of 3. So, before calculating this, we should do another thing. So, they have given f of i is equal to f of i minus 1 plus f of i plus 1. Let us modify some changes in this equation. Let t is equal to i plus 1. So, now this equation will change into here i means now we have to change in terms to t. i means t minus 1. Plus f of i minus 1. So i means t minus 1 and minus 1. Plus f of i plus 1 means t. Now this equation will be like this f of t minus 1 is equal to f of t minus 2 plus f of t. So we can write as f of t is equal to f of t minus 1 plus minus f of t minus 2. So, this will be the same equation as this. So, we can calculate our values by this logic also. So, now let's calculate for f of t. Then it will be equal to f of 2 minus f of 1. Now let's take f of 1 is equal to x, f of 2 is equal to y. Now let's calculate f of 4. Then what will be f of 4 is equal to f of 3 minus f of 2. So what is the value of f of 3? It is f of 2 minus f of 1 and this minus, minus f of 2. So, the value will be f of 4 value will be minus f of 1. Next, let us calculate for f of 5. f of 5 means f of 4 plus f of 3. So, f of 4 means minus f of 1 plus f of 3 means f of 2 minus f of 1. Oh, here minus sorry. So it will be minus and it will be plus. So f of 5 will be minus f of 2. Now let us calculate for f of 6. f of 6 equals to f of 5, 5 minus f of 4. f of 5 means minus f of 2 minus f of 4 means minus f of 1. So, f of 6 will become minus f of 2 plus f of 1. That is f of 1 minus f of 2. So, let us calculate for f of 7. f of 7 equals to f of 6 minus f of 5. f of 6 means f of 1 minus f of 2 minus f of 5 means, so it will become plus f of 2. So, f of 7 is f of 1. Next, 
only one case left. Let's calculate for f of 8. f of 8 means f of 7 minus f of 6. f of 7 means f of 1 minus f of 1 plus f of 2. So it will be f of 2. So if we observe there will be a pattern. So if we check like this, for the next other six terms also the sequence will repeat. Now for f of 7 we got f of 1. Next for f of 8 we got f of 2. Now again if we observe for f of 9 we will get the same answer as f of 3. It means f of 2 minus f of 1. So if we calculate the value with mod 6 then we will get definitely in between 0 and 6. Then we can easily say these f of 2 and f of 1 values only. So they have given, let's assume that n is equal to 9. And if we do 9 mod 6, it will give us a result of 3. So f of 9 value is f of 3, means f of 2 minus f of 1. We can calculate it easily in order of 1. And at last we have to calculate with mod. Mod 10 power 9 plus 7. So let's write the code for this. First importing the statements. Creating the object of scanner class. So x and y values are up to 10 power 9. the input x and y taking the input of n now as we take the value of n now we have to do with 6 mod with 6 so if n mod 6 is equal to equal to 0 then what we have to do we have Check the here. F of 6 means it is mod. With mod 6, we will get 0. So we have to do F1 minus F2. So we have to print print ln mod of. I will write a function of mod x minus y. Okay, x minus y. 10 power 9 plus 7. 10 power 9 plus 7. No. If n mod 6 equals to equals to 1, then we have to print mod of if 1 means we have to print x. X comma 10 power 9 plus 7. Else if n mod 6 equals to equals to 2, we have to print y. Else if n mod 6 equals to equals to 3, we have to print f2 minus f1 so f2 means y minus x next if it is 4 sorry n mod 6 equals to equals to 4 then we have to print minus f of 1 means minus x next. 
LCF and mod 6 equals to 5. Then we have to print minus y. y. So that's it. Now we have to write the mod function. What is mod function? I'll take as log a and log m. Now previously we have discussed about this. We have to return a mod m plus m whole mod m. So this one we have discussed previously. So if we do like this, we can avoid the negative answers. When we are doing with mod, we have to get only positive answers that is in between 0 and that value. So now let's check for the test cases. If they are passing. Okay, keeping in the paper type. So the answer is 1. Now let's check for second test this also. So it is 10 power 9 plus 6. Let's submit this one. So hopefully we got the answer and if you have any doubts please do comment in the comment section and thank you.